Welcome to your personal graduate school application interview. Stick around and let's do this thing today on Navigating Academia. What's up everybody? My name is Dr. J. Phoenix Singh. It's wonderful to be here with you as always on this episode of Navigating Academia, your leading source for guidance on how to be able to advance your career in academia. Please do take a moment before we get started to like and share this video with your friends, with your colleagues, with your own students. Please do also comment below. We love to hear from you about your experience, especially with this video. And you can follow us at these social media accounts. Today what we're going to be doing is practicing one of the critical parts of the graduate school application process, which is the interview. A lot of people, definitely myself when I went through it, it, it was very nerve-wracking experience, really kind of scary. And so I want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. And so what we're going to be doing is literally doing an interview, you and I, right now. Uh, in a moment, you're going to see some instructions come up on your screen for approximately 20 seconds. When it's done, the interview begins, okay? What's going to happen is that I am going to ask you a question, and then I'm going to wait for 30 seconds, then I'm going to ask you the next one, and just focus on those instructions. I want you to stay cool, calm, and collected. I want you to practice this interview in a variety of settings. Practice giving answers just one-on-one -on -one in terms of you alone in your room. Practice it with other people in the room. So for example, a library or a coffee shop under high stress, under low stress, with earplugs in, with earplugs out, in as many situations as possible. And the reason I want you to do that is because it's state-dependent memory. So if you only practice totally alone in a silent uh, context, then let's say there's two or three people chatting in the room when you actually do the interview, that can be really, really tough. Or maybe you're doing the interview over the phone as opposed to in person, you could have a totally different experience, all right? So maybe one time, you do it with literally holding a phone up to your ear and only listening to me asking the questions. So this way you're not getting my behavioral feedback of nodding my head, etc. So state dependent memory is the name of the game. We're gonna try to build those healthy habits. Follow the instructions and let's do it. Here we go. Hello there, I want to welcome you today. It's good to see you. Uh, why don't we start by you telling us uh, a little bit about yourself. Okay, fantastic. And uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, why do you want to go to graduate school? And why do you think that this program is a good fit for you? Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, 
Now, can you tell us where else you're applying and uh, what do you think those programs have that our program doesn't have? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And where does this program fall on your list and why? Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to learn a little bit more about you. I'm sure that we all do. Uh, tell us a little bit about your research interests. Mm-hmm. All right, and what do you see as the major trends in the field right now? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about what do you think is your most significant accomplishment to date? And your short-term career goals, what are they? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, and your long-term career goals? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, what's your biggest strength and your biggest weakness? And if you have more than one, that's okay. But what would you say to that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you could have dinner with anyone, living or dead, who would it be and why?
Mm-hmm. And what do you like to do for fun? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and maybe you can tell us, how would you respond if you received critical feedback from your supervisor? Mm-hmm. Tell us about a time when you had to deal with a strict deadline or time constraints. How did you handle it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us about a situation when you had to stand up for a decision that you made, even though it was unpopular. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us about the most difficult or frustrating person that you've had to work with, uh, and how did you handle interactions with that person? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can you describe a time for us where you had to bend the rules in order to be successful or to accomplish a goal? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's your favorite scholar in the field? Can you describe for us, how do you work in a team setting? Okay.
And uh, what else should we know about you? Mm-hmm. Okay, and finally, what questions do you have for us? Just list them out and then we'll get to them. Fantastic. All right. Well, we'll get to those in a moment, but uh, looks like we may be uh, running out of time here. So I want to thank you so much for stopping in and seeing us today, and uh, we'll get back to you. All right. Congratulations. You finished your practice interview. I hope it went well, and remember that practice makes perfect. So definitely complete this video as many times as you need to in as many contexts as you can. Remember, stay dependent memory. Let's build those healthy and good habits that are going to make you come across as well as possible. Again, please make sure to like and share this video with your friends, with your colleagues, and with your students. Subscribe to our channel and also please do comment below. I want to hear from you. What are some other questions that you remember being asked during your interview process? All of us have so much to learn from one another and remember that we're all in this together. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one career mentoring with me, please do see a consultation call via the website below and this way we can talk a little bit more about even doing some one-on-one -on -one unique interviews specifically for you in your specific field. We can tailor everything uh, to your unique needs and your dream program. I think it would be a lot of fun to work together. But for right now, I am signing off everyone, so I want to thank you so much for your time and also please remember to get out there, take chances, and be your best self. Thank you so much for stopping by everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here as always. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more in this series on navigating academia, please click on one of these links over here to be able to view more original content. I hope to see you there.